Guten Abend, everybody, and happy Saturday. I hope everybody had a good start to their last night and today. I did something I haven't done in a while. I actually play Minecraft with a chain, which is definitely an experience. I look for trying that in the future. But I uh, actually had a chance enjoyable to some people. Um, so I will be um, dismissing it in the future. I look forward to other opportunities where I can play it and be social and do the punching of trees is a thing. So I try not to ruin my manicure, but I will um, I'll punch trees if necessary. So let's get on to the initial business as hand with day. Are you doing basic family two last time around? So today, two. We get to go back to language with the ever favorite. Say things in another language about another language. And as usual, we're going to review the tips for secret hints and affirmations that may be helpful. So the long story short. Many immigrant workers from Turkey came and settled in Germany after World War II, bringing their food, culture, and language. Though so Germany is also a melting pot, much like the United States. That's good. So don't be surprised when you hear Turkish around Germany. Okay, I will not be surprised if I go there and I hear Turkish. Nothing is perfect. Put words describing how good your language skills are after the subject and the verb. Okay, so I won't know exactly quite how good it is until you say what you're good at first. For instance, I speak German perfectly. Ich spreche perfekt Deutsch. I personally do not speak perfect German yet, but I am slightly on my way. I get there to that point. Uh, also, do you only speak English? Sprichs du nur English? Uh, no, I speak multiple languages. Uh, English is actually my second one. Learning, learn in. In English, you can study a language for an exam or, or at a university. Uh, learning has just has the first two meanings. There is a different verb studieren, studieren, that means to be a student. So it's interesting to see that the verb learning sounds like, well, learning or to learn in English. So it's kind of nice to be able to associate it that way. Let's get a going. and get this lesson started. So this is interesting that we can match the pairs because I, I like this. It's a new exercise and it's kind of a, a bit of a vocabulary test. So gut sounds like good, or it could be the adverb well when you're using it with her. Uh, ja, very similar to yes, like saying yeah. Maybe that's where we get it from the ja in German or vice versa. Uh, klug means to be smart. Uh, easy, einfach. 
and hello, just slight change of one vowel, hello. German is not difficult or hard. Uh, well, if you've never tried it, I guess you should give it a shot, but until you start doing it, you don't necessarily know. Deutsch ist nicht schwer. Uh, another one to match these. Toll, an alternate uh, word for great. We were using super before. So it's just nice to say the word toll now. Uh, perfect looks and sounds like perfect. Uh, difficult, we just had this one, schwer. And coffee and cafe, very close. And then the one I have issues with because it's just not nice to say, but it's very similar. Hi, HV. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you. Are you working again tonight? I'm not quite sure of your new schedule at your new place. He is super awesome. He was last streaming Valorant. Usually I catch him on some of his uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 streams where I actually get a chance to dress up his avatar, which is kind of cool, uh, in my opinion. Um, you're also doing uh, Call of Duty, which is uh, that um, a little too much um, Hardcore shooting for me, but it's it looks like a lot of fun. So gross and tall. Gross could also mean big, uh, but again, it's not a word I particularly care. But it is uh, where we get you know our gross net uh, of our salaries on our checks. Paychecks, so we should be familiar with the word gross in association to size. Uh, Her Deutsch is uh, very good. Okay, Sunday through Thursday, Friday. I'm glad you're getting some relaxation time and uh, don't go too crazy on the shopping. I am the queen of the infomercials late at night, so beware. You do not need that Snuggie or whatever the item of choice is of late. So her German is very good. Ihr Deutsch ist sehr gut. Polish is difficult, but beautiful. Polish is fair, aber schön. <laughs> Sometimes you can splurge on nonsense if you want to treat yourself. And, you know, it's like having a cheat day. You can cheat on the weekend a little bit. David, you're encouraging him. I will allow it simply because uh, he needs to buy himself something pretty on occasion. And, uh, and hello, David. I hope you're all rested after your screen. Your stream. Uh, by bad things that um, can do some good. You know, the bad things that are good, the good things that are bad, those kind of bad things, right? Uh, is French easy? Uh, it was my third language. I will say it was familiar to see some words that I have seen in Spanish, 
I don't know about easy, but it was not terribly difficult. Is Französisch einfach? I still don't know how to say that one. Let's hear it again. Is Französisch, yeah. It's just an, a weird way to say French. Oh, well, you would know, David, having a, a French province uh, in your country, whether or not it's difficult or easy. Although I'm told Canadian French has its own quirks as opposed to Frenchy French, much the way that we as um, American English have issues with the Queen's English, so to speak. My French is not. Oh. Um, I'm trying to remember if this is bad or difficult. My Francois is not schlecht. Not bad. Okay. So he's kind of paying himself, uh, is, uh, a bit of a you know backhanded compliment, you know it's not bad, kind of like a a slight neg, so to speak, just to get away with saying saying it and not being um you know too uh too full of oh yeah my my French is super awesome. I'm not gonna say that. I will also say my French is not bad when I'm rehearsing it for the most part, which I haven't in a while, which is why um, after finishing my German all the way through with all the five levels that they offer in Duolingo, I'm going to switch back to French, uh, which is a language that I did learn many, many moons ago when I was a wee schoolgirl, because it's still nice to have a refresher. And then I'm going to switch back to something that I don't know quite as easily. Ooh, that's not nice. No, your Turkish is not perfect. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he's being a bit of a realist. Some people need to hear it. I know. Um, they're Turkish, I believe. Is Turkish. No, his Turkish is not great. Nine, nine Turkish is nicht perfect. <laughs> yes, thank you for the bear pun. I, I needed to hear a bear pun tonight. Uh, let's see. So this is one of those um, possessive pronouns that I'm still not terribly familiar with because Z if it's lowercase, could be her. If it's uppercase, it's the formal you. It's also the they, um, if said. But here, they're using it as someone's Turkish. So I still haven't quite learned um, who that someone is that the Turkish belongs to. So I'm going to have to get used to this. Oh, shoot. Perfect. Not great. Yeah. That was my mistake for just going to perfect. Okay. Let's see if we got it this time from the previous one. So is his German uh, very good? Or your German? I don't know, but... I think it's his German this time. Yes. Is his German very good? Is sein Deutsch sehr gut? Okay. His German is very good and her German is perfect. So here's a level of comparison. I, I like it. Sein Deutsch ist sehr gut und ihr Deutsch ist perfect.
We didn't get this before. Is French easy? Is Französisch einfach? Is her French good? Is ihr Französisch gut? Sometimes when there's a delay in the microphone and it takes forever for it to hear that I've said it, it makes me doubt that I actually say it well. And here, like it didn't register the good, but it gave me the rest of the sentence. So I got like 75% of that sentence. Uh, Polish is not easy. I'll agree to that. I haven't learned it yet, but when I do, I will probably say it is not easy. Polish is nicht einfach. Of course, there's no sound. <laughs> so we have to do process of elimination. Let's see what sounds. And what doesn't sound is probably the uh, consonant or the syllable we're trying to say. No sound on E. So I'm going to guess it's B. E. It's a little bit of cheating, but you know, the system's not perfect. Is English difficult? Is English fair? Having it been my second language, I will say yes, it was difficult. I didn't learn the rules of English, only the exceptions when I was nine years old. Uh, so for the most part, I was clueless about why I was saying what I was saying. I was just, you know, this is how you said things. Um, but I will say that two years of watching uh, American television helped me go a long way to learning my English. Yeah, English does does royally suck, I will say that. Uh, and it wasn't until my college years when I was learning Latin that we had the Bible called English Grammar for Latin Students when a light bulb finally went off and I understood the grammar of the language I spoke every day, learning the grammar of a different language that's been dead for a millennia. Or centuries, I think millennia is a little extreme. Her Polish is really perfect. Okay, I did perfect and not great this time because great was not an option. Uh, ihr, ihr Polish is wirklich perfect. Is his German very good? Is sein Deutsch sehr gut? So now I'm going to have to drill this into my brain that anytime I see sein, it means his. And anytime I see ear, means her. Again with the bearer of bad news. I'm sorry, David. I'm going to have to steal that because that pun is just too good. No, his Turkish is not perfect. Nein, sein Turkish is nicht perfect. And he seems happy about saying that. It's just adding insult to injury, literal insult to injury. Uh, you have many good ones, David. You are a very clever, clever man. Six whole days in a row. Add that to 78. I can't do math right now. It's too late. But I know it's slightly more than four months at this point doing this. Okay, let's do an easy practice. And the V's in German sign like S, which is why. Close your ears if you have not, never watched Star Wars. 
The word in German for fa father is Vater with a V. Uh, and when you say it, you know, it's like Darth, fa Darth Vader. It actually is saying Dark Father in German. It's slightly different spelling. I think Vater with a D is the Dutch spelling and Vater with a T-E-R is the German saying. But they kind of gave the whole um, secret reveal of Darth Vader being Luke Skywalker's father uh, away simply by naming the guy Dark Father. Okay, Un unplug your ears if you've never watched Star Wars. You can, it's a spoiler free zone now. Yeah, I should type spoilers if people are just listening and not reading chat or something. Or just, yeah, just reading chat. I didn't hear this one. Okay, here we go. My sister and my brother. My Schwester und mein Bruder. Um... Have you watched or read Little Women? Because it's got a bit of a tragic ending. No, I won't ruin that for you. My wife is smart. Yes, my wife would be smart. And a Frau ist klug. And in my defense, David, I didn't spoil this. In fact, I'm stealing this from Amy Farrah Fowler on The Big Bang Theory because she spoiled it for Sheldon or someone uh, on, on that show revealing the, um, the name connection. At the time, I didn't know. I wasn't learning those German words necessarily. I hadn't made the correlation. Uh, so blame her, because I'm stealing her material. My brother is very tall. My Buddha is sehr groß. I am Carl. Ich bin Alexis. Ich bin Carl. I said it. Oh my goodness. What? I didn't say the world, Carl. Okay. Apparently I'm not Carl enough to pass the microphone test. My daughter is very smart. Yes, she is. Meine Tochter ist sehr klug. Daughter is tall. Meine Tochter ist groß. Uh, my mother is not very tall. My mother is tiny little lady, but for the purposes of this exercise, you saw. My Namuta is sehr gross. Yes, I am Lucas. Okay. Is that an exciting name to be? Makes me wonder. Uh, well, there's no explanation, so it's, it wasn't an exciting answer, but just to you know, answer, yes, I am Lucas, I am that Lucas, George Lucas. And I will say this because the exercise requires me to say it. I am very smart. Ich bin sehr klug. And yes. If I had a husband, he would also be smart. My man is Klug.
you are very tall. I have a, uh, a few friends that are very, very tall. So I would say this to them. To be sad, girls. My sister and my brother, my Shvesa and my Bruga. I know it's just the exercise, but the tone of that statement sounds kind of gossipy, like some, you know, soap opera reveal. My sister and my husband. Oh no. Schwester und mein Mann. I am Nina. Ich bin Nina. Okay, go ahead. Say it again, David. Mother and my sister. Meine Mutter und meine Schwester. <laughs> you know, I'm having an identity crisis, uh, so depends on the day. Sometimes I'm Carl, sometimes I'm Nina. So I don't know who I will be by the end of the night, so we shall see. Maybe I will be an artist by the end of the night. Ich bin Carl. Apparently I am not Carl enough. What am I not saying? It's going to make me do it again. Ich bin Carl. I can't say the word Carl, so apparently I am not Carl and I am Nina. Don't mock me, duo. I have to make the K sounds. Okay, fine. Sometimes I don't make the T sounds. This time I didn't make the K sounds. Ugh. German is difficult. Deutsch ist sehr, how is it? Schwer? Yes, I will swear that this is very schwer. Thank you for that. I, I appreciate your language humor. You get me. You get me, man. You really, really get me. Uh, okay. Let's do some difficult because apparently easy is getting harder for me. Okay, apparently the hard stuff I can actually do. My son uh, plays volleyball this morning. Mein Sohn spielt heute Morgen volleyball. Is playing. Nina, I can say Nina. I just can't say Carl. Okay, your teacher is playing volleyball today. Deine Lehrerin spielt heute volleyball. I have a kid, I have a husband, I have a wife. I hope neither finds out about the other, although it may be an open relationship, polyamory. Polygamy, I don't know. It's it's a very complicated home life, really. And we're not even on the family lesson today. Okay. 
this is a sentence that uh, makes no sense, but okay, I am sorry. Your doctor is playing volleyball. Oh wait, is the guy at the hospital and needs emergency surgery, but the doctor isn't there because he's busy playing volleyball? Okay, now that sentence makes sense. Es tut mir leid, dein Arzt spielt volleyball. Wait, what I get? What I get now? Oh, spiel, yes, the, I forgot the now, the big key, like he is playing volleyball right now. That's why he can't make it to surgery. <laughs> yeah, this tiny little word. And Doc is very, very dull if he doesn't get his volleyball on, right? Mm. There you go. I am playing volleyball now. Ich spiele jetzt volleyball. It's such a tiny, tiny word, the word now, but if you don't put it in for context, sometimes it changes the tone of the whole sentence. And he's very excited about having to play volleyball right this minute. I am very astut. I don't know if that's a German word yet, but you know, we'll see. Oh, at least it's your teacher and not your doctor, so don't worry. Your teacher is playing volleyball today. Your teacher is playing volleyball today. Deine Lehrer spielt heute volleyball. Really? Oh, so it's because, okay, no, this was my fault. This, I, I did dine Lehrer and Dina is for feminine, so I should have put Lehrer in, so that was Totally my fault. I confused the gender. Which apparently I am confused about for myself, so I should not be surprised. Okay, let's see if I get this right today with the right gender. My son is playing volleyball this morning. Sohn spielt heute Morgen volleyball. Ah, thank you, Bear. I'm playing volleyball now. Ich spiele jetzt. Volleyball. No, they're they're playing. They are playing. They're just not playing volleyball. They're playing me is what they're doing. Yeah, not a good start. People with hands in their pockets are hiding something. Okay, get the gender right this time. Okay. This is this is the sentence that I failed on, so I'm sorry. Your doctor is playing volleyball now. It's tut mir leid, 
Dein Arzt spielt jetzt Räuber. There you go, I get it again. I'm sorry, your doctor is now playing volleyball, or almost a sense as he's still playing volleyball, like his match should have ended game match point a while ago. Okay, this is the one where I gotta get my my gender right. Your teacher is playing volleyball today. Dinah Laren, feminine, feminine, uh, is playing volleyball today. Yeah, before I was taking my sweet time on this because I'm talking too much, I think now I've gotten to the point where I'm taking my sweet time because I'm just not paying attention. Just. Totally, my bad. It's too me light. All right, so let's go to night nine story time, and today get to go to uh, the airport and buy two tickets, please, because yesterday we went to the supermarket and met a famous basketball player. So let's see what Junior is up to at the airport. Two, zwei, uh, Flug tickets, two airplane tickets, please, bitte. Junior is at the airport. Junior is dem Flughafen. He speaks with the woman at the counter. Er spricht mit der Frau an Schalter. Junior is talking to the woman at the counter at the airport. Yes, that is what he's doing. Can I help you, young man? Can ich helfen, junge man? Oh, he knows where he's going. Plane ticket to Barcelona, please. Ein Flug ticket nach Barcelona, bitte. What is the option? It means plane ticket, uh, flug ticket. Ticket, pretty self evident. Uh, flug sounds like flight, like flight ticket. I've never been. I would like to go to Barcelona, as they say in Castilian, or Barce. Or Barça, that's what they call the um, football club over there, the soccer club. Uh, it would be nice. Spain, one day. I gotta work on my Catalan, uh, depending on what region, because not everybody speaks Castilian, which is the Spanish I speak. And in fact, today, the Minecraft teacher I had from Spain was actually from Catalonia. So he was teaching me some Catalan because uh, he also speaks Castilian Spanish. So I'm learning way too much at the moment and it's all like just jumbling in my head. He showed me how to say good night in Catalan, which is uh, buena nit, which to me sounds kind of like the French bon nuit and also like the Italian uh, buona notte. So it's kind of like a, a marriage of, as he put it, French and Italian, uh, but it still sounds like the Spanish Buenas Noches. And of course the question when a little eight-year-old is asking to buy a ticket to Barcelona, where are your parents? Wo sind deine Eltern? Excuse me, Entschuldigung, ich bin nicht 
sieben Jahre alt. I am not seven years old. So he doesn't need to have his parents present. Thank you. How old are you? Wie alt bist du? See? He is eight years old. Ich bin acht Jahre alt. So a seven-year-old needs his parents at the counter, but an eight-year-old can conduct business at the airport on his own. A plane ticket to Barcelona costs 200 euros. Ein Flugticket nach Barcelona costs 200 euro. Okay, uh, where can I go for 13 euros? Where can I travel for 13 euros? Wohin kann ich für 13 euro reisen? reisen. Why can't Junior go to Barcelona? He only has 13 euros, so he must have cracked his piggy bank uh, to get a plane ticket to Barcelona. Oh, the wee lamb. Finally, a grown up in view. Eddie, Junior's father, Darth father, uh, comes to the counter. Uh, Eddie Junior's father comes to Shakta. Really, Eddie, you have no idea what your kid is doing at the airport. Ah, Junior, here, here bist du. Here you are. Was machst du im Flughafen? What are you doing at the airport? I, I, I don't care what he's doing at the airport. How did he get to the airport by himself? I think that's a much more important question. Okay, now it makes perfect sense. I have a math test today. Ich habe einen math test heute. I must travel far, far away from here. Ich muss weit weg reisen. Uh, and the word meaning today is heute. Eddie's gonna be smart here. Fine. How much does a plane ticket cost? Wie viel kostet ein Flugticket? 200 euros. 200 euro. Okay. How much do two plane tickets cost? We feel kosten zwei flug tickets. And because uh, the kid knows, uh, 400 euros, 400 euro. Okay, correct. You are uh, perfect in math. And now get the heck to school. Du bist perfect in Mathe. Jetzt geh in die Schule. Get thee to a schoolery. Why did Eddie think Junior should take his math test? Junior was very well able to calculate the price for two plane tickets. That means he will pass his math test with flying colors. So the vocabulary words we've learned for today. Heute means today. Plane tickets, flug tickets. Cost it means costs. Airport is flughafen. Math test, shocker, math test. Yay, I earned 49 points, which means I am still nowhere near of exiting the Sapphire League in the next 20 hours, but I went from uh, 15 to 13. I should not get attached to any of these people because they would probably leave and go off to the League. I'm not bitter. I'm not bitter at all. 
It's just, you know, always surprised me. Never the bride. Oh well. So for this part of the stream, we have concluded the language portion.